Okay, uh, I want to just basically try to look at the trust, social capital uh, from uh, both Western and Eastern perspective and see how they actually are interpreted, perceived differently uh, from different cultures. Uh, the, uh, but I will start general. I said that the trust and social capital are basically are the core components of the social tie relationship. Uh, social capital is not exactly equal to social relationship, but social capital is really the core part of it. Then the trust as the core of the social capital. The social capital is really the, they say that the access we can have because we have a relationship. And so the access actually due to trust. Okay. Uh, I, I think I mentioned here is basically uh, guanxi is a Chinese notion of relationship. They refer to a strong form of relationship with uh, both s instrumental and sentimental combined. That relationship has to be useful, but at the same time is not only useful, then they have the emotional link together. And so that's the Chinese notion is quite unique in the world. Even the Japanese do not have that. And uh, they, they, uh, they either become very, very instrumental or very sentimental. They tend to have some kind of a detachment between the two. But Chinese often argue, in order to have a good relationship, you got to be both useful and at the same time highly emotionally attached. Because that will link, later on we'll find out, the access to each other, that's the key. Why they're willing to help you out. Why they sometimes sacrifice their own self-interest for you. Because they value the long-term relationship. The long-term and strong relationship of, of, of guanxi. Okay, um, so the, the key between the strong and weak is the sentiment, the sentiment part. It's, uh, this is why they need lots of time to build up, okay? Not just the, the dining, whining, but what kind of dining, whining, okay? Not just the frequency, but how deep you share your personal and family information. They often invite each other to the, their uh, families, and then family normally know each other. Okay, the kids know each other, the, the, the parents know each other, in order to have this kind of a strong bond between them. So to them, the boundary between private and, and public is really blurred. Okay, they often really mix things together. So guanxi is a mixed tie. Guanxi is both instrumental and sentimental. While social capital is often either instrumental for business partnerships. Or sentimental, that will be the relationship between friends. But they don't mix friends with business partners that strongly. Sometimes they do, but most times they, they, they could separate. And sentiment tend to be among the people who are very similar in background, homogeneous. But business partners could be a little bit more diverse, depending on whether they need them or not. Okay, but the Chinese guanxi is often look both. Homogeneity is not the most important. Diversity is important, but they have to be very strongly linked diverse ties. So they deliberately go out, cultivate relationships with somebody who are not homogeneous. That's why I think the relationship building is really the key. And they don't have much of a connection, but they can build it over time. And so I think that, that's why they could be diverse and strong. Then I use this metaphor of a marriage. Of course, marriage could be among between the two homogeneous person. But I don't think that's the, really the most important element. You don't have to marry somebody very similar to your background. You don't have to. As long as you have a strong love, that, that's enough. Okay, the strong love is, is, is important. So I think that the guanxi is a similar like marriage. It's a long term. It's long term cooperation. It's a long-term shared interest. Why they need to collaborate with each other? Because they think they have lots in common. Your interest is overlapped strongly with my interest. So we have a common interest. So I do not always think about myself only. I think about myself, but I have to think about you as well, because your self-interest and my self-interest overlapped. They require the two to tangle, to have a dance to have a family, to have kids. 
And of course, the children you have would be very strong symbol of the shared interest. Even if you divorce, you both care about the, the children. So that is very much like the guanxi. Very informal, open-ended. I don't think anybody can develop a perfect contract or very good contract for marriage. I don't think a con contract would really work for marriage. Okay, and most of us who marry, do we have any kind of thing similar to a contract? Probably not. Just oral. Okay, it's just like some of the businesses will be just handshake. Okay, it's really a long-term commitment which cannot be written down, which cannot be formally required. Okay, so that would indicate why people want to commit to another because they are willing to. Okay, so I think the, the shared interest is very important. And it also requires continuous investment. It's not one-time deal. You have to invest in the relationship. You cannot take for granted. Guan Xi cannot be taken for granted. Okay, deep, strong trust cannot be taken for granted. You have to invest. Keep investing.